On to some disturbing news now. The body of the woman decapitated at Nairobi's Roisambwe State has been positively identified. This as photos of the suspect behind the brutal murder emerges. CCTV footage obtained by Citizen TV shows how the suspect, who was wearing a cap and carrying a black bag, collected the Airbnb keys from a nearby shop on Saturday evening before proceeding to the room where the 20-year-old woman was killed, body mutilated and body parts stuffed in paper bags. Monday morning and detectives from Kasarani police station visited the scene in Roy Sambu where a 20-year-old girl was killed in a gruesome manner and her body parts dumped in a trash bin. The probe, this time round focusing on CCTV footage near the building which houses an Airbnb where the suspect allegedly committed the act on Saturday night before escaping. For more than six hours, detectives moved from house to house, shop to shop, in search of evidence to help trace the suspect who is still at large. This CCTV obtained by Citizen TV and which is being studied by detectives captured the suspect moments before he allegedly committed the crime. In the clip captured around 4.20 p.m. on Saturday, the suspect is seen walking while talking on phone outside a shop adjacent to the building where the body parts were found. He walks straight to the cashier and hands him his phone before the cashier gives him a key and hands back his phone. Holding family in his hand was a black bag. The suspect was wearing a white cape and spectacles appeared to be in a hurry. He returned back after five minutes and handed over the payment to the cashier before leaving. This was the last time the suspect was captured. He was expected to return the keys on Sunday morning but failed to do so. The proprietor of the Airbnb property, Rispa Mudoni, said she received a call from the caretaker who discovered body parts inside the trash bag in the house. The remains which were taken to city mortuary have since been identified positively by the family of the deceased who declined to talk to the media and said they're still waiting for police to conclude investigations. Sources told Citizen TV that the 20-year-old girl had intimated to a friend that she had gone to have dinner with a friend in Roy Sambu but failed to turn up a day later. Her phone was switched off. The incident, which comes two weeks after another woman, Starlet Wahoo, was killed inside a house in South B, and the suspect, John Matara, has prompted the government to issue new directives to private security officers guarding residential areas, Airbnbs, hotels and lodgings. In the directive, signed by Private Security Regulatory Authority CEO Fazul Mohammed, he has directed private security officers to ask persons visiting premises to identify themselves, register the time of entrance and exit, and surrender identification documents. They are also required to record the identification details, maintain a current and accurate log of all vehicles, maintain a register of all private security officers providing security services in those premises, ensure CCTVs are working, maintain an updated access control policy, and maintain a security occurrence book to record daily incidents. In the new rules, identification documents are to be returned to the visitor at the point of exit and should not be used for any other purpose purpose. Failure to observe the directives will lead to cancellation of licenses and also prosecution.